Hey there. So I've been teaching about NFTs here for a couple of days now uh, by posting some mes messages on Facebook. And uh, I've recently had a request to mint one of my artworks that I post there as an NFT. So an NFT, as you might remember, is a non-fungible token. It's a way of taking any digital asset anywhere and minting it on the blockchain, which means it's the essence of a smart contract, putting it on the blockchain. This creates uh, authenticity, credibility. It's got a timestamp. It's there on the digital universe forever and ever for as long as the digital universe lasts or somebody burns it or however that works. Um, <clears throat> the minting process is actually a way of programming. It can be kind of involved and detailed. However, there are a number of platforms that have made it super easy to do for us creators and for uh, people who would like to purchase them and sell them and trade them. And there are many such platforms. OpenSea, O-P-E-N-S-E-A, is the most common one. Uh, the biggest marketplace out there. However, there are several other ones. So a few years ago, I actually started on a platform called voice.com. And rather than go into a whole bunch more details, I'm going to go ahead and show you how easy it is to mint an NFT on voice.com. And while the others have some of their different nuances, it's pretty basically the same. So let's just, uh, we'll share my screen here and let's just go over to where I can mint one of my cat wearing shoes creations. So as you can see here, this is uh, the, the, uh, the Curious Soul cat that graced the first, my first ever issue of my newsletter, The Curious Soul. It is now listed on voice.com. Uh, I've listed it actually, as you can see here, for $25, and I have put it on the uh, Polygon blockchain. <clears throat> now, I know I'm going to go through a lot of details here that I will definitely cover in uh, future videos, but for now, just know that you can actually use your credit card. Uh, you would create a, a voice wallet, which I'll show in another video, and purchase this piece of artwork. You don't even need to have cryptocurrency, but you will need to have a crypto wallet uh, to purchase this, and then you own it. Now, of course, one of the interesting things about owning this is that you have the, so you can actually make it a little bit bigger here, you have uh, the rights to use it for your personal use. You may also sell it to anyone else who would like to have it, uh, but you may not use it for commercial use. So you may not put it on, you know, like t-shirts and mugs and that kind of thing that you intend to sell. But if you use it for your own personal use, like you make your own one-off t-shirt, you are allowed to do that. All right. So I promised that I would show you how to mint, at least on voice.com. So here we go. This is uh, my my page, my art page on voice.com, which by the way is voice.com forward slash art by Tirza. So it's pretty easy to find. Uh, but what you do is you actually click on this create button up here and that will take you to the create page and you go upload the image that you want to be minted. And in this case, I'm gonna take the image for my second newsletter, which was Curious Cat Has a New Shoe. And we're going to go ahead and upload that. That goes pretty quickly. There it is. And I will click down here. So you can choose here whether you want it to be a single one-off image, just a one, that would be a single, or editions. And if you click on editions, you can go up to 100 on the voice platform. Others will have other ones. And if, it, if you were to choose more than one edition, then when somebody buys it, they get you know, the next number. So one of 100, the next person who buys one would get two of 100. And it actually states that uh, in the description. So this way you always know what you're getting. In this case, I'm not gonna do additions. I want it to be just a single edition. And then the next box that I need to check is I test that I own or control all content right, rights required for this NFT. 
So I'm going to go ahead and check that box and click continue. All right, so now uh, remember what it, uh, hang on a second. Let's go get the name of the, whoops, the name of the file. Give me just a moment. So I just type in curious cat has a new shoe. And then I've already got the description written out somewhere else. So let me go copy it from there. And we just type that in, or actually I'll paste it in. And I have here, just as we feel a burst of joy with every new shoe box we open, our beloved feline friend feels the same thrill. New shoes not only refresh our wardrobe, but rejuvenate our spirit, letting us step into new adventures with confidence. And then down here under select the category, there's a number of categories you can use. And in this case, I'll call it digital illustration. This next part would be uh, unlockable content. I'll go into that in future videos, but for right now, I'm just gonna go ahead and click continue. And it'll ask me to review my details. And there it is, the curious cat. And that I agree to the terms of service, click create. And I'm going to go ahead and list it for sale on this next page. And here you can choose which blockchain you're going to list it on. And here we have the option of putting it on the Ethereum blockchain. blockchain. I'm going to choose Polygon because if you use Ethereum, it means that your purchaser will need to pay gas fees <clears throat> in order to use it on the Ethereum uh, blockchain. And for right now, I'm going to go ahead and list it for $25 and click continue. And I could go ahead and copy this address to tell the world that I have minted this NFT. And for right now, there it is. Voila, it is for sale. Um, for people who follow me on voice.com, they just got a notification that I have listed a new NFT for sale. And that's how easy it is to list an NFT on voice.com. Have an awesome day. And if you'd like to know more things, go ahead and drop a question in the comments below.